So in this video, we're just going to take a look at how to create tables. Uh, tables are very straightforward in, in LaTeX. You just start with a begin tabula, oh, pardon me, begin tabular environment. Let me just end it so I don't forget. Tabular environment. And um, then you have to pass it some options. And these are basically the number of columns you're going to have. So if I wanted three columns, um, I, and I wanted them all to be centered, I would have uh, three C's. So let's see what that does. And then we can simply start our um, our table. So I'm going to have um, some a name. Whoops. And then I separate a column with an ampersand. So I'm going to have a gender, separate it again, and I'm going to have a start time. So there are my three columns. Now at the very very end of a column of a line, I use two slashes. Those two slashes in general throughout LaTeX tell you to start another line. And so for example, I can have Angelico, who is who is male and who likes to start at about 11. And I can also have Leanne, who is female and likes to start about 7.30. And so if we look there, that's all um, appearing. But there's not exactly everything we'd want in a table. We might want some lines between them. And so for that, we just use the horizontal line. So let me just put a few of those there and there. And now our table will have horizontal lines. To get, um, oh, and there's a problem there with the horizontal line not coming at the end of a, a line that's ended. So I just need that. Now to get vertical lines, I just need to put the pipe command in between these alignment symbols. And then finally, I might want to actually change the alignment. So I might not want it all to be center aligned. I might want this column to be left aligned and maybe this column uh, to be right aligned. And if we now take a look, this table uh, will adjust. And we see Angelico and Leanne now aligned to the left, male and female are centered, and the start times all the way on the right. 